Distinguished Alumni today, uh, Marlou Gardner Jensen is here along with uh, Wendell King. And uh, we'll start back with Wendell. Uh, Wendell, you're in the middle of talking about the, the being able to speak to the students yesterday at the assembly. And the message that you had for the students, or what did you convey to the students when you had opportunity to meet with them? Well, when I started thinking about the talk I was going to have to give, uh, it didn't seem like that long ago that I was sitting out there in the audience like the students I was talking to. And I thought, what do I know now that I wish that I'd known then? What, what do I wish that someone had told me and I heard? And the answer came to me pretty quickly. It's, uh, I wish I'd recognized how valuable my own time, the time of my life, is. And so I talked about uh, that uh, your time valuable possession and how you choose to use that time is the most important decision that you'll make in life. Wow. That's a, and I'm sure they're really receptive to that saying, no, I've heard, I've, and I'm always here when you're doing that presentation, is that the students really engage and really take in what <laughs> you folks have to share because they're really interested. I think, and I know when I was a high school student, you kind of feel isolated. You're in this high school, these four walls, and you think that's that's the end of your world. Mm -hmm. And come graduation, can I really go somewhere, go and achieve? Mm -hmm. And having this distinguished alumni program to bring folks like you back to say, I was I was you not that many <laughs> years ago. You can achieve and you can go. Mm -hmm. your, your thoughts? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, there's no doubt about it. You just have to push yourself forward and get out of uh, the mindset that, that that you may have, that, that you're limited, because you're not. You can, you can do anything you want, and I certainly found that out. You just have to work hard enough at it. Yeah, I, I, I guess I, uh, the, the high school when I was going there kind of didn't set any limits, so I left school thinking that there weren't any limits, that I could kind of do anything that I wanted to do, and that was a path I embarked on. It, it's such a neat idea to be able to uh, first salute and, and you know, pay honor to the students that have gone and accomplished. And there are so many that have done so much. I'm sure you, you in a way, you felt, you know, you're not worthy. There are other people that you probably thought were better. But I think these are, you're among some of the best distinguished alumni I've had the chance to talk to. So we're glad you were selected. But I, I, I know kids, not many schools have a program like this and be able to connect these dots to the students. and maybe inspire them in, in ways that they, they may not have been or maybe they're searching for what's next is, is a great opportunity. One of the things that, that really helped me along was going to the Interlochen National Music Camp in Michigan as a high school kid. Because then I realized, I, I realized that there's a bigger world out there and there are a lot of people that were a lot better than I was too. Um, and it was just a total eye opener and that's, that's kind of what set me on my way that I could, I could certainly be one of those. I've got, I've got to ask, just because, you know, you graduated, uh, be what, 40, 54 years ago? I'm doing my math, somewhere around there. <laughs> Walking back into the high school, what were the, the two sides of that coin? A, how much has it stayed the same? How much did it take you back to the memories of I was in this classroom or that classroom? And how much has uh, high school as a whole changed from what you've seen? I, I guess for me, uh, it was more the same than it was different. Saw lots of familiar rooms, familiar sights. Uh, uh, so it, it was like uh, I'd been there two weeks ago. So wow. It was very, very similar. Yeah. Um, I, the last couple of days I've been attending classes and talking to the physics and science classes, and I, I really enjoyed that. And getting into classes, it seemed even more similar. It's, For me, the difference would be. The diversity of kids that we didn't have back in the day. I mean, uh, kids now come from many different countries and there are many different races. So we did not have that in Austin when, when I was in high school. We were kind of the same. Yeah. So. It's got to be an interesting experience to be able to have the opportunity to go back and, and, and do this. So, rest of the day, uh, what's, what's on your agenda now? Uh, pep Fest this afternoon and then we get to ride. I've been practicing my parade wave all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off the air. And, and the football game, don't forget about that. Yeah, football game. Well, Chris, I'll have a 
presentation at the football game tonight. I was thinking, so you know, every year they try to get convertibles to go through town. I'm thinking today you might have to really bundle up a little bit. Yep, yep. Might be nice. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to visit with both of you uh, here in, in studio. Our 2014 Distinguished Alumni, Martin Luther Garbage Johnston, uh, class of 1960, and uh, Wendell King, class of 1958. Uh, we got just under a minute. Any parting thoughts? No, I just want to thank the committee for inviting me because this was such a treat and such an honor. Okay, and Wendell? I, I feel the same way. It's an honor and a treat, and uh, it, it helped to reinforce that I wouldn't be where I am today, and I wouldn't have done the things that I've done if I hadn't grown up in Austin and the unique things about the city. And, uh, yesterday we were at a pep fest, and the school spirit is still there and, and pretty unique. I've been in a lot of schools, and never felt anything like the school spirit you feel at Austin High School. Very good. It's been a pleasure visiting with both of you. Congratulations and have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. All right, news is next here on The Voice.